Javon Kinlaw uh, is having the offseason he freaking needed. He was a bit of a project coming out in the sense that he didn't have a ton of sacks in college and needed to develop that part of his game. Coming to the Niners, Chris Kassarik, you're thinking lock and key. No problem. He'll develop. Well, he hasn't been on the field. He needed to just be healthy. So, so far, so good. He's healthy. And not just that, he's in, he looks like he's in the best shape of his life. But I also want to say that he's always been in great shape. It's never been like a, like, oh, he doesn't work that hard and he needed to figure it out. Like, that's not the kind of guy he is. He just had a bad knee and now it's a good knee, at least now. So um, definitely deserves major props. And it seems like his career is trending in the right direction. What do you, what is, what are your uh, thoughts on, on where he's trending? Uh, I'm excited about it. Uh, watching him, he's just, uh, it's really hard to, you can't block that guy with one person. And so, you know, he's going to be taking double teams all season. He looks like he's a, at a hundred percent right now. Um, that is a big surprise. He, he's just really hard to block. It's a big surprise. It's going to help everybody. It's going to help Armstead, Ebicom, and definitely Bosa. I, I mean, this line is going to be hidden on all cylinders. Uh, when they face Chicago, who couldn't block Seattle. <laughs> and Kinlaw is a huge part of it. I mean, he's a foundation piece. I'm excited about him. He looks healthy. Uh, and, you know, he, we've always known he's a, a freaky talent. You know, even if he doesn't get sacks or a bunch of sacks or tackles, if he's drawing double teams, that's going to make everyone else better around him. So if, if he can just stay healthy this season, it's going to be a good thing. Real quick, um, Pat McAfee brought this up today. He's very impressed by Javon Kinlaw's physique. And he said that I'm a bum ass reporter and said, I'm like four foot two, but I think Pat McAfee's missing it. I want, I deserve credit for this. Are you, this is, this is another, yet another example of a testament to the quality of quality control, the importance of quality control. Okay. It's working and we can't stop now. So what I want to say is Javon, great start, but you're not done. Okay, this is just the beginning. You needed to stay healthy so you could develop the way we all know you can. Don't just be content at where you are right now. Don't be a two-down run stuffer because you're great at that, but you can be so much more. If you want to get that, because look, it's not just about getting me off your back or critics off your back. It's about getting the bag, right? You haven't gotten it yet. You got the, the, the first round, the first bag, which is nice, but it's not the second bag. And that's what you want. And that's what you should get. That's your goal. And um, you got to be a three-down player like Eric Armstead. Eric Armstead got the bag after having like nine sacks in the season. So you can do it. Just keep striving. Keep striving. And if I got to say on your back, just know I'm trying to get you paid. I'm trying to get you paid. Yeah. Ken, I'm, I'm excited about Ken Law, man. And Ken Law, just a little extra motivation. My kids downloaded Madden last night. I was looking through the Niners roster. They got, they got you at 75. Oh, and here's a not related to Kinlaw. There you go. Here, here's another shocker. Jay Brindle's uh, rank it was a 59. Just so you know, starting center. I'm sure Madden was like, I, <laughs> is it? Brind here's how you know Jake Brindle is not is is a 59 in Madden. His head coach doesn't know how to pronounce his name. Kyle <laughs> came out and called him Jake Brindell. Everyone's like, <laughs> who's that? Kyle. Uh, <laughs> it's not even that's your center's name. Yeah. yeah. So um, it would be good if the Niners could get a yeah. center who. Whose uh, name the head coach knows? Right, right. Yeah, I might, I might help. Yeah, but good, yeah. good, good job for Kinlaw, man. I'm excited for him. Yeah, no, we're just getting started. Me and Kinlaw, we're just getting started. You know, he's got a good, he's got a, he's got a good start. But I want him to keep his head down and really focus on the next goal because I don't want to see D'Amico Ryan's pulling him off the field on third down. I want Javon in there. And right now, I he, they're not using him that way. Now they could say they're you know they're limiting his snaps. Come on, and and the way we're gonna really um assess his pass rush first and foremost is knockback too many times when he was younger was he was getting knocked back and he would end up trying to knock passes down no get in the backfield and then after that get around the guy but really if all he is is the knockback guy he's going to walk into a lot of sacks the way eric armstead does it's not like eric armstead's doing swim moves like deforest buckner he's just mm -hmm. getting in the backfield and nick bosa so disruptive that boom sack eric armstead that could be you javon i want that to be you yeah, he, I, I, mean, I think if, if Javon's healthy, man, he's he's going to figure everything else out. He's got just the – D-line's one of those positions that if you're just built like Javon Kinlaw or on the D-tackle, if you're built like Javon Kinlaw, you're going to find success. Like, 
The guy's a yes. freak athlete. That, yeah. But all I'm saying, like these days, though, a lot of times on pass rush downs, you just get four DNs in there. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. You, you just want four fast, like four pass rushers. So, um, all I want him to do is establish himself as an impact player on passing downs, because having a six pack and being three twenty doesn't. Well, I mean, you've always been that guy. We need he needs a little finesse now. Time for a little finesse. And I think he's I think he's developing a little finesse. Jason says Javon and Grant versus McAfee and AJ Hawkins. Who are you taking? I have Javon Kinlaw on my team. Yeah, that's easy. That's that's, that's no question. Where okay. who is this McAfee guy? Where did he come from? What is what is he? Like did he like he get cut from the Sopranos? Know. He's got a or... tough man complex. Because I mean, look, dude, you were a professional athlete, Pat, but he was a kicker, so he, he like uh-huh. he he does a show. He has a um, he has a like a muscle tee on and like a gold chain, and he, it's it's like it's like classic. You know, it's like um, it's uh, it's it's like that kicker from that uh, pet detective movie what was it? Finkel, Finkel and Einhorn. He's kind of like Finkel yeah. and Einhorn a little bit. He's got a little bit of like a identity crisis going on. Um, he looks like Kid Rock is his favorite musician. Yeah, I can see that. I can see yeah, he looks like, like he grew up idolizing Bam Margera. <laughs> yeah, he, he kind of looks like he uh, got cut from Jersey Shore, tried out, but they're like, you're too old, man. And So here's the him. thing. He, he said on the thing that I'm four foot two. I'm six foot one, okay? And so is he. So if I see him in person, I'm going to be like. <laughs> eye to eye. Yeah, and Javon's got my back. So how about that, Pat? And why, why does it, you know, I've seen he, he's having other uh, 49er reporters on. Why doesn't he just call you? I mean, if he's if he's that guy and has all these feelings about you, get your side of the story, you know? That's I don't true. know. Yeah. Or ha- call me on your show and tell me off. One way or the, one or the other. Talking about me like that. Oh, it's okay, though. I appreciate it. Thank you, Pat. It's nice <laughs> to be mentioned on the show of an ex-kicker. Uh, ex-kicker. Good. Yeah. He's doing a good job. For next is he year. a punter? Is he a place kicker? I think so. I don't actually remember him in the league. Okay. Now he like does stuff for WWE, which I think is pretty good for him. That's about his speed. Yeah, I mean, that wife beater and gold chain. He, he looks like he probably thinks WWE is real. That, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. 